A couple of weeks ago, I ordered our turkey for Christmas Day. We've got all the family coming and although I'm cooking, I'm really quite looking forward to it. Now, the last five verses of Luke 10 are also a story about a meal. Jesus and the disciples are traveling. They arrive at Bethany, where she's where the home of two sisters, Martha and Mary is. Having an extra 13 for dinner, well, that's, that's quite a challenge. And Martha was buzzing around the kitchen, checking the pans in the oven, you know, laying the table, the best crockery, finding the matching glasses. She was flying everywhere. Whereas Mary, she wasn't. She was just sitting near to Jesus, listening to what he has to say. Eventually, Martha's had enough of this. She comes to the boil. She says, Jesus, my sister has abandoned me in the kitchen. Tell her to lend me a hand. And Jesus replies, Martha, Martha, you're fussing too much. You're worrying about the wrong thing. One thing is essential, and Mary has chosen that thing. Now, I think this gives us something to think about here. You see, in the passage, it says that it's Martha who invites Jesus into the home. But yet, then she's too busy to appreciate him. And it's not that she's doing anything wrong. It's, she's wanting to do her best for him, to prepare a beautiful meal, to, be, to do really nice things for him. It's just that Mary's doing something better. She's just listening to him. You know... Have we done this? Do we invite Jesus into our lives and then we're so busy doing things that we forget about him? He gets put in a corner. Are we guilty of that as well as Martha? See, the Bible's full of Jesus and eating meals. and I think he probably enjoyed a really good meal. But in this case, he didn't want a full-on three-course banquet. What he wanted was the attention of two sisters. And I think sometimes today we can be too busy, too busy doing vital jobs, busy jobs, too busy rushing around, too busy to listen to what Jesus has to say to us. This Advent, this Christmas, are we going to leave Jesus in the corner while we're rushing around? Or rather, are we going to sit and listen to what he has to say to us? Two questions. Where are you going to put Jesus this Christmas? Up front and centre or off to one side so as not to get in the way of the busyness? And are we spending time in God's word or are we too busy doing stuff? It may be God's work, but sometimes do we need to stop, sit and listen instead? Heavenly Father, this Christmas, I pray that we would actually spend time with Jesus, that Jesus would be up front and centre this Christmas, that instead of rushing around and putting into one side, we would engage and we would listen to what Jesus has to say to us every single day this Advent. In Jesus' name, Amen.